wish I had a cool narration voice like Ron Perlman to say something really awesome to open this video. Oh well, let's take a look at Fallout games. Hello Fallout fans! In honor of the release of the new Fallout TV series on Prime, which was absolutely fantastic in my opinion, I wanted to rank all the Fallout games from worst to best. I did this in part from gamer and critic scores, sales, and of course my personal preference. DLC will be included with the game for its consideration, and I've excluded games that only use a Fallout theme or shell, the pinball game as an example. The Fallout franchise is right up there with Gears of War, Assassin's Creed, Streets of Rage, and The Legend of Zelda as my all-time favorites. So in that regard, I'm sure we'll have some similarities and maybe some differences in our rankings, and I'd love to see yours down in the comments. Thanks for clicking on the video, and let's see what I've come up with. Starting off our list today at number 9, Brotherhood of Steel. The series was in need of a fresh start. Brotherhood of Steel attempted to shift towards an action RPG, but it did fall short with its lackluster gameplay and repetitive nature. The game lacked the open world feel, it had a more restrictive special system, and your skill points were used differently as well. The story seemed to rely too heavily on curse words to make it more edgy and mature for the time. Fallout 3 learned from these mistakes and incorporated elements from the earlier games with a modern twist. Coming in at number 8, Fallout Tactics. This was the first spin-off for the Fallout series and it took the franchise in a completely different direction. It did have potential to shape the series before Fallout 3. However, Fallout Tactics didn't quite hit the mark despite being a solid, tactical game. Instead of focusing on one main character, this game revolved around squad tactics and featured various factions and races, including humans, ghouls, and even dogs. Like many tactical games, it emphasized strategic positioning, and although it did follow a more linear path compared to the other Fallout games, it still drew heavily on the established lore. Nevertheless, even though it was a decent title, it didn't quite capture the essence of a core Fallout game. Number 7, Fallout Shelter. Now some people are going to question why the mobile game ranks this high. Hear me out. Have you ever dreamt of being an overseer? Fallout Shelter is a fantastic free-to-play management sim that immerses you in the wasteland. It's a game that captivates you with its sense of progression. It is free to play and it doesn't constantly pressure you to spend real money. It's quite generous with the in-game currency. Originally it was designed just for mobile devices but it is available on PC and consoles. I played it the first time on PlayStation 4. Its addictive gameplay mechanics makes it enjoyable and accessible for all players. Although it may be on the smaller scope of things, it definitely deserves a spot on this list. I love how it has the iconic style and animations of the Vault Boy. It's fun to go back to after a couple of years. I recently just started a new vault on the Xbox. Number 6, Fallout 76. Now Fallout 76 is a game that has divided fans on the Fallout series. It took a bold step by becoming a massively multiplayer game. It allowed players to team up with fellow survivors and be the first to explore the post-apocalyptic world. Although it initially faced criticism for its lack of content, Bethesda has been dedicated to improving the game by adding many features that fans have requested. One of the most notable additions is the inclusion of the NPC quest givers, which were missing in the original release. This addition brings the game closer to the experience of the other beloved Fallout titles. Additionally, the game has expanded its scope by introducing new locations like the Pit. While exploration remains important, Fallout 76 also emphasized the importance of creating a home in the wasteland. With a versatile crafting system, players can build their own personalized home base, complete with all the necessary comforts of a survivor. Number 5, the original, the first Fallout. The original Fallout game was quite different from the newer versions we see today, but it laid down the foundation for what was to come. Set in a post-apocalyptic world, the game satirizes and idealizes 1950s Americana. It featured vault dwellers, super mutants, and the Brotherhood of Steel, just like the later games. 
players took on the role of a vault dweller navigating through a changing world and getting involved in the conflicts of the survivors. Unlike the first-person shooter format of the later games, the original Fallout was played on an overhead third-person perspective. While the gameplay may feel basic compared to the more recent releases, it serves as the blueprint for the series. Number 4, Fallout 4. So this was the most recent, large, single-player RPG in the Fallout series, and it is a decent yet not outstanding presentation of what the Fallout series is capable of. While it may not have been as groundbreaking as its predecessors, it did introduce a new building and settlement management system that became a significant aspect of Fallout 76. The storyline which follows you as the sole survivor searching for your missing child was engaging, but at times made some of the side quests feel like a why am I doing this detour. This game did include several memorable companion characters such as the return of the faithful Dogmeat and the synth detective Nick Valentine. This could simply just be a case of expectations being too high. This is a fantastic Fallout game in my opinion. Number 3, Fallout 2. There weren't many changes from the first game, but Fallout 2 improved upon its predecessor by refining its core elements to deliver a bigger and better experience. Considered by many as the essential entry point into the Fallout series, it is the most accessible in some aspects. Taking place 80 years after the original Fallout, you assume the role of the descendant of the previous Vault Dweller. As the Chosen One, your mission is to receive the Garden of Eden Creation Kit, or GEC, from Vault 13. However, things don't go as smoothly as planned. While retaining familiar systems, Fallout 2 eliminates some of the more frustrating aspects of the first game, like time limits on your quests. In its prime, this game was the pinnacle of post-apocalyptic gaming. Coming in at number 2, Fallout 3. Fallout 3 was a game changer compared to its predecessors. It transitioned the series from a 2D RPG to a 3D open world adventure, offering a first person perspective and a vast wasteland to explore. While keeping classic elements like special skills, karma, and dialogue options, Bethesda introduced new features like VATS for assisted targeting. The post-apocalyptic world of Washington DC is intricately detailed, with factions and political tension adding depth to the immersive experience. Despite being over a decade old, Fallout 3 still stands strong today, showcasing its enduring quality. I really considered this as my number one. I've been playing video games since the early 80s, but was always on a console. For me, PC gaming was just doom and solitary. Fallout 3 was my introduction to the series. I've gone back to play and enjoy the PC games, but this will always be my first Fallout adventure. And coming in at number 1, Fallout New Vegas. New Vegas is a prime example of how an RPG should be. It's actually one of the greatest RPG games ever made in my opinion. Let's all forget about how buggy it was at launch. Hey, we got a pack of playing cards with it, right? The opening is absolutely fantastic, where you take on the role of a Mojave Express courier on a mission to deliver a mysterious package. But things take a turn for the worse when you get ambushed and left for dead. Before you know it, you're caught up in something much bigger than yourself. Right from the start you have control over how everything unfolds. As you explore the vast landscape of New Vegas, you'll come across all sorts of shady characters, rival factions, and choices that have real consequences. And let's not forget about the gripping main storyline. There are three major powers, the New California Republic, NCR, Caesar's Legion, and Mr. House, all vying for control of the Mojave Wasteland. It's completely up to you whether you want to get involved or not. This game offers one of the most unforgettable Fallout experiences with some of the most memorable NPCs in the entire series. And that's my list of ranking all of the Fallout games worst to best. So down in the comments, like I mentioned before guys, I'd love to hear from you. What is your favorite? What is your least favorite Fallout game? Thanks a lot for watching guys. I'll see you in about a week. Take care.